You know, and so at this point, I would briefly like to have one of our organization's uh, CEOs to come up to the stage. Uh, come on, Ms. Ramona. So, so really brief, Ramona Landeros is the director or president of Benito Juarez Association in North Sacramento. They're all about justice, justice for all, especially Latinos, fighting for education, advocacy, legal rights, housing. She does it all. She's a real fighter, una guerrera, guerrera con corazón. You know, she'll do anything for the people. She fights for education. And let me say one more thing before I get, let, get her have the floor. Benito Juarez, they heard about all the students that are failing. And they called almost 1,000 parents with failing children and enrolled them in the Miracle Program. 1,000 children who are failing. Her, her organization reached out. She gave them hope for almost 1,000 kids who are having success, who, have, who are lost. So thank you, Benito Juarez. Thank you, Ramona. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Raja. Before I even get started, I just want to uh, acknowledge the land that we stand on today. This is Nisanon land, and so at this time I would just like to acknowledge the land that we stand on and our ancestors. Thank you. Um, congratulations to the graduates. Thank you to the hands that prepared the food. Thank you. I want to acknowledge the farm workers, the campesinos who picked the food the food that we ate today and that we eat every day because they're in the heat working the fields providing food for us. Thank you. I've been, thank you. I have been a community activist for many, many years and my first taste of activism, I was a farm worker and I was in Oregon and they took me from the labor camp to a college and they said we want you to see what a college looks like so you can become, so you can see yourself in college one day. It was the day they assassinated Martin Luther King. You talk about an eye opener, I knew then that I, that was me. I had to fight for social justice for everyone. So my life story, I'm Apache, Latina, Chicana from the state of Texas and I've lived in Del Paso Heights for 40 years. So yes, so 40 years I was there when the crack epidemic hit our community hard, hard. So a lot of our kids going to CPS, being lost, it broke our system up. But I've been very involved in my community because it's a passion. My kids grew up there. My children, now my grandchildren are there. And um, my kid growing up as a single widow, young mom, it was, it was very difficult having, raising all boys in a community like Del Paso Heights. But we did it and I just knew that my heart was there and uh, we have work to do in our community. I founded Benito Juarez Foundation uh, in 2016 and the, actually I'm the founder, this is the president, Alfonso, and that's our, and our member Maria and the rest of our members, youth leaders. One of the things that we really work on is teaching civic engagement. How do you get involved? How do you make a difference? What do you do? What can we fix in our community? I was a former board member for Twin Rivers Unified School District. When Dr. Raja, and we've, had, we've been on this journey for many, many years, when I saw the injustices that were being done, and Raja, I'm gonna talk about it, uh, we organized and we said, we have to teach students, how do you do a civil disobedience? How do you do a walkout? How do you use your voice to be heard? Because we have a lot of power as parents and as students, because without students, they do not have schools. And so it was a difficult, challenging the very school district, the board that I sat on. But you have to be unafraid, okay? Remember, be unafraid to speak out. Right. We want all of you youngsters to be sitting on boards, commissions, people that make a decision on your lives. You have to be that voice. And that's what Benito Juarez has become, is become the voice for many in our community. We're rela we're, we, we've been out there organizing and we've showed up 500 strong sometimes at the school district because we have to have our voices heard for all students. All students, we all, because you all matter. Each one of you matter. I don't care if you're from Honduras, from Afghanistan, from Mexico, wherever you're from, you all have, you all deserve the best education. Remember, 
Your zip code does not determine the type of education you receive. Just because we don't have schools like Granite Bay, Rockland, that doesn't mean our kids don't deserve the same education. And so that has been our motto is we have to fight for all students. So thank you Benito Juarez members, especially our youth leaders. We're training them, we're training them to become activists, to be outspoken and to really stand up. We have to stand up to the challenge. This is finally, the Miracle University is what we've been asking for, what we've been waiting for. And now that it's here, we have to come together as a community. City officials have the obligation to make sure that our kids are fine, that our kids are safe. City has the obligation. All the money that the city receives from our taxes, we have to make sure that we make that connection between the city money and schools. How many schools are empty throughout the, the summer? All of them. Our kids should not be sitting home idly, just doing nothing, unlearning what they've learned. And so we have to hold the city responsible as well, as well as our school districts. I have decided to throw my hat in the ring for city council because I truly believe, Woo! thank you, because yeah. I truly, truly believe that we have to be telling, how do we divert the money to the resources in our community? It's all connected. Because like Dr. Raja was saying, if we have a dropout, the, the statistics, the numbers tell you, a dropout, they're more likely to commit a crime, to be in prison. I'm tired of our kids graduating from prison high schools. I'm tired of that. I've, I've visited many prisons. I've done a lot of work in the prisons. And it's a lot of the black and brown that are in the prisons. So as, as a community leader, I urge you all to let's continue to support Miracle University. And thank you, Pastor, for this beautiful place. Thank you for giving us hope and giving us a dream and a vision. Gracias.